Hey guys, so today I'm here with Fab Force Grumper. This is obviously gonna be a love it or hate it kind of mod, but if you love it, this is gonna fit on your 07 to 18 Wrangler and give you full front end protection, as well as a very aggressive look. This thing's gonna be made of quality materials and it's gonna give you a bunch of benefits that your stock setup is unable to give you. At the moment, this is gonna be $1,500, which is a little steep for a front bumper and grill combo, but it is very unique and there's nothing else like it on the market. Install is gonna be pretty simple, but there will be drilling and wiring required, so it gets a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter for me, and now I'll show you how I installed this. The tools that we used for this install were a drill with a step it, an impact wrench, a half inch, three eighths inch, and a quarter inch drive ratchets, a flathead screwdriver, a 13 millimeter wrench, an eight millimeter Allen key, a 3 16 inch Allen key, a 10 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter deep socket, an 18 millimeter deep socket, a 19 millimeter deep socket, safety glasses, pliers, and a wire tool. So first thing we need to do before we install our grumper is get our front bumper off. So if you have a plastic insert in between your grill and your bumper, you can take out those pop clips and take that out. And then you can unclip your fog lights. And then we can unbolt the bumper. So the stock bumper is gonna be mounted up with four nuts on either side. We're gonna remove those with an 18 millimeter socket. After all of your nuts are uninstalled, we can go ahead and remove the bumper. So now our next step is to open up the hood and pop off our grill. So now we can remove our six pop clips. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver if you are using a flathead screwdriver, just be careful that you're not scratching your paint on your grill or you can use a trim removal tool, but I find this a little bit easier. So after we have our six pop clips out, we can pop off our grill and unplug our turn signals. Just be careful when you're popping this off of your turn signal wiring harnesses. So sitting these two side by side, you can tell that there's a big difference visually and performance wise. 
So this new grumper is gonna take the place of both your stock grill and your stock bumper. Your stock grill and your stock bumper are made of plastic and they don't provide you as much front end protection as this new grumper will. This is made of 11 gauge steel and is gonna provide all of that front end protection that you really want out of your Wrangler. This is also gonna give you a couple more benefits that your stock components will not. Along with the aggressive look and being completely customizable, this will have a couple of D-ring mounts for recovery. This is gonna have a universal winch plane and it's gonna act as a stubby bumper so you get more tire clearance off-road. Now let's get this thing ready to bolt up to the Jeep. So before we install our grumper onto our Wrangler, we have a little bit of assembly to do. So we're gonna start with the grill. So this is gonna go around the back and bolt up through here. Once you have two on, that should keep it still enough where you can bolt up the rest. So I wouldn't tighten anything down just yet because this is a moving piece and you will have to adjust it to get all of your bolts in. Now you can tighten down your bolts with a 3 16 inch Allen key and a 13 millimeter socket. So these bolts are gonna add to the aggressive styling. This is just gonna give it a riveted look and that off-road aggressive look. So before we flip the grumper over and install our headlight inserts, I wanted to install this accent plate. And this grumper is gonna come with a matte black powder coat finish to resist any rusting on the metal. But this is one of those modular pieces that a lot of people customize to whatever color scheme that you're running on your JK. So let's go ahead and install this with the same hardware that we use for our grill. So 
So it might be a little bit tricky juggling the plate and all of your hardware, but as soon as you get one bolt in, it will hold the plate up for you. But you still have to juggle the other one. So then you can use your 3 16 inch Allen bit and 13 millimeter socket. Tighten those down. Cool. Now we can flip our grumper over and install our headlight inserts. Now you can install your headlight insert and you will have to orient this. So once you have that position where you want it, you can bolt up your hardware. This is going to be the same hardware that we used for the front of the grumper. So now we can tighten down those bolts, but I would recommend instead of a 13 millimeter socket because you are in a tight space that you use a 13 millimeter wrench. So since we're completely deleting our grill, Fab4 did supply us with some turn signals, so you can install those at this time. I'm just gonna pull the wires through the back. And once the grumper is actually bolted up and in position, then you can wire these into your existing turn signal wiring harness. And Fab4 did also supply a wiring diagram for you to do that. So I would let that hang and then get your grommet in first. And you can place your turn signal. Then you can wiggle that into place. So these are going to be a new LED. So Fab4 also did supply you with some resistors in order to stop hyper flashing because of the lower resistance on the LED. So in order to mount our grumper up, we need to widen this upper outward hole to a 9 16th of an inch. So this is already a half inch and we're just using a step bit to go one step bigger. Oh. 
So now with the help of a friend, you can install your grumper. Now that we have our grumper attached, we can go around and tighten all the bolts with a 19 millimeter socket and an eight millimeter Allen key. Once your bolts are all tightened down, all you have to do next is wire your turn signals into your stock wiring harness. Then you can close the hood and you're all set. So in order to wire up our turn signals, first we have to cut off our factory harness. So before we cut off our factory harness, I would recommend unconnecting your battery terminals and then we can go ahead and cut this off. I would recommend to keep this portion if you ever want to put your Jeep back to stock, but if you don't plan on putting it back to stock, you won't need this anymore since it will be wired into your grumper. So we have already had to do a repair. I have unharnessed this, but we are going to cut these at the same level that this wire is cut. After you cut those, you can strip your wires. So your high element positive that will actuate your turn signals to blink will be your red wire on your Fab 4 wiring harness and your white wire with a pink stripe or a white wire with a gray stripe on your OEM wiring harness. So your low element positive, which will be your standard marker light, will be the black wire on your Fab 4 wiring harness and a white wire with a tan stripe or a white wire with a green stripe on your OEM wiring harness. Lastly, our ground wire will be the white wire on the Fab 4's wiring harness and obviously your black on your OEM wiring harness. Now we can take a 14 gauge wire butt connector and attach it to our Fab 4 wiring harness.
Now you can connect the white Fab Four wire to your black OEM wire. Now you can connect your red wire to your white and gray or white and pink depending on which side you're on. Since we're on the driver's side, it's going to be white and gray. Now we can run our black wire into our white and tan wire or our white and green wire. Since we're on the driver's side, it's going to be the white and green wire. So after our turn signal wiring harness is connected, we can go ahead and connect our new resistor. So Fab 4 has given us some vampire clips that we can tap into our wiring with. So we will be tapping into the high element positive, which will be our Fab 4 red wire, and the ground, which will be our white wire. So you can prepare the resistor and strip the wire. Now you can insert your ground wire into your vampire clip. So after you have your ground wire in, you can insert one side of your resistor. Holding those wires together you can clamp down on your vampire clip, tapping into your wire. After that is tapped into, you can clip that and move on to connecting the other side to your red high element wire. Now we can attach our vampire clip onto our high element positive, our red Fab Four wire. Once that is in the clip, we can attach the other side of our resistor and hold that there. While we clamp that down. After that's tapped into, we can close our clip. Now this resistor is going to have two spots where you can bolt this up. You can bolt this up anywhere underneath here. Be careful because these will get hot. So you can mount them up wherever you like. You can even mount them back on the grumper if you'd like to, to tuck the wiring. This resistor is provided so your lower resistant LED will not hyper flash while you turn on your turn signals and so forth. So that's it for my review and install on the Fab Force Grumper. For more videos like this, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.